Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's another Friday as a part of the preseason promo. I'm going to talk about what content I think we could see today, look at back at yesterday's content, and then maybe look ahead into the weekend as well, just to kind of talk about what is going on. Since this game is pretty quiet right now, we're still getting good content. Don't let me, don't let me say it and, and sound wrong in that way. We're still getting good SBCs, in my opinion. It's just a lot quieter than what it used to be because it's almost the end of the year. Stuff is really starting to kind of, you know, turn down. But we still have grindable menu content right now, and that is an absolute W for me, A. So I'm thinking a lot of the content today could be either a pack SBC, an objective, maybe some top transfer content. We will talk about that here in a second. First, I want to go back and talk about what came out yesterday on Thursday on Rewards Day. We got Ander Herrera and David Alaba Champions League Showdown SBCs. Um, this card, if PSG win, this Ander Herrera is going to be insane. Might be club 90, depending on the boost that they give him. He'll get a plus three overall. He'll go to a 95 if they win. Could be club 90. And David Alaba, I think that Bayern's going to win. Honestly, they look fantastic. You guys put your opinions in the comments down below. But I think they're going to win. This card, I think, is going to go to a 95. And that's going to be a really, really fun card to have. A lot of people are saying they wish that the ARP SBC would have been a Neuer SBC and I'm kind of with them because if that would have come out I feel like you would have had a nice little trio between maybe Boateng, David Alaba's uh, Champions League card and then a maybe a Champions League showdown Neuer in goal as well that would have been cool to have but the ARP card did get the upgrade and we'll look at that Goretzka and Coman are upgraded as well so we'll take a look at those uh, we'll just do that right now why not uh, because this is actually pretty big news. This Goretzka, a 94 rated, got the plus one, is only the second card, to my understanding. This is the second card this year in foot that is Club 90. Kevin De Bruyne's uh, Player of the Year SBC card and his team of the is the only other card that is Club 90, I believe, unless I'm forgetting somebody. But that's fantastic, right? This card could still get upgraded and go to even higher stats with another plus one rating if they do win. So Goretzka looks crazy. A lot of you guys are asking me, is he going to get a price range update? I don't think so. If you want this card, you're going to have to get lucky and snipe it because they haven't upgraded price ranges in a long time, and I don't see that changing anytime soon. Coman got the upgrade from 93 to 94, looking even more overpowered. Pacey left wing with good passing. Now, passing is getting a lot better uh, in his dribbling. He's almost at uh, 95 and almost maxed out on the dribbling. So not quite there. Might be maxed out when he gets to a 95 if they do win. And then Arp got his 95 rated upgrade as well. This card looks really cool. I, I, I'm kind of digging this card. Again, not the card design, really, for these UCL showdowns. But I'm digging the just the fact that EA gave a card to somebody who's maybe less well-known. It's just a different player, right? Neuer could have been cool, like I said before. But this card is honestly really cool. And I think that if you did this SBC, you're happy with the upgrade because that is a very, very nice upgrade. Sarabia and Marquinhos got upgraded as well, both as road to the final items. And again, today is the Europa League final, so we have Carlos. Diego Carlos could go to a 93 after his upgrade and surpass by even more the team of the season card. And as well, Handanovic, if Inter do win, could go to a 96, I think. So those are the upgrades that are on the line, still live, still active upgrades that we have out right now. Um, with the additions of these two SBCs yesterday. We also got a 90 plus two rare players pack. And that begs the question from everybody, where is that 89 five rare players pack? They added it to the code. They haven't dropped it yet. Where is that going to be? I still think it's coming, right? I still think that SBC is going to come. And, you know, the fact that they put out the 90 plus double guaranteed and then they released it so quickly just makes me wonder where is that 89 plus pack going to factor in is it going to come out i could see that being like maybe our sbc content today um could it be through an objective i feel like that's too big of a pack through objectives but we did get the any icon through objective so i guess it is possible i'm working on getting this done i need two more wins and rivals then we're finito with that one uh, and getting our any icon pack plus the 80 plus player pick for fifa 21 that ends today at 6 p.m on friday if that's something uh, that you're interested in. Objective-wise, today for content. What do I think is going to happen today for objectives? I hope, this is my big-time hope for today, that we see something finally related to the top transfer. This is the one part of this preseason promo we have not seen anything on 
yet. We haven't seen any SBCs, objectives, or anything. And again, I mentioned it multiple times. They added stuff to the um, loading screens before this promo started with coordinates to the Allianz Arena and to the Johan Cruyff Arena. Or maybe it was Stanford Bridge. One of the two. One of the two of those three, they had the coordinates on the loading screen before this promo started. Um, I think this has a lot of potential. This could be really cool and bring some hype to maybe a team that um, one of your favorite players transferred to, or maybe your favorite team brought in a new player. You know what? Give me a, Hoy a Hoybjerg. Give me a Spurs Hoybjerg. Maybe even a Joe Hart Spurs card. I would. That'd be funny, right? That'd be cool. You know, we have Werner, we have Osimhen, we have Ziyech. All of these transfers, uh, Pjanic and Arthur, and all these transfers that have started to take place and have started to, to formulate and have been you know, pushed through over the past couple of weeks. So I think now is the time of the promo. Either it's, I have two opinions on this. It's either going to see, we are either going to see top transfer pro, uh, content starting today on Friday, or it's going to start on Wednesday when the Champions League is done and dusted and over. I just wondering if they're waiting to release this content until the Champions League stuff is finito. So that's kind of my two opinions, but I think it's possible we see top transfer content today. And my number one hope with this is that they like re-release an SBC or an objective version of the best version of one of those transferred cards in the game. So if you think about players that have been transferred, right? Timo Werner, he's got a Tots card. Ziyech, he's got a Tots card. Osimhen, he's got a Tots card. Can you imagine an Osimhen team of the season item, uh, not record breaker, team of the season, that is either an SBC or an objective that is this 93 rated Osimhen card that is you know, his cards, same stats, same everything, but with the Napoli badge because he transferred to Napoli. Or again, even more of a hype situation, a Timo Werner, team of the season item, that has the Chelsea badge that you can insert into your Premier League squad and play in your Prem team uh, on full chem, right? That would be sick if they did that. Now, I don't know if that's possible. I'm sure it is because they've done, you know, winter refresh they've done. Uh, you know, once to, they've, they've, they've done options before where people change teams and change uh, like winter ones to watch. You know, they put out a Bruno Fernandez Manchester United card after he had a sporting card for the first part of the year. It's possible. So hopefully they do something like that with the top transfer content. Uh, I don't see any new card types added to the code. Maybe they would do a whole new card type for that. Uh, that'd be, I guess, interesting or cool if they did try to do something like that. But that's the next content that I'm really just looking out for and waiting for, honestly. Uh, I, I, I don't know what else, you know, EA is going to do with with the top transfer content. I mean, it's going to have to be high-rated cards. They, they know that now. They've been putting out high-rated um, stuff anyway. So, um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure what they're going to do with that. Now, there was this code that was added. I think this was added earlier today for the... Uh, Two rare gold players, 90 or above. I think this lone icon moments pack isn't anything new. That's something that was already in the code. But maybe it's a new icon moments pack that would be used for the objectives uh, today. You know, they've been doing this the past, what, like three weeks is they've been giving us team of the seasons, icon moments, or team of the year cards and having us complete SBCs with them or complete objectives with them. Maybe that'll happen today again on Friday, I would expect something else is going to come out that is like a foot 21 related reward, whether that's a kit, whether it's a pack. Hopefully it's another pack like this 80 plus player pack would be dope. Give us like an 81 plus pack, maybe uh, for a FIFA 21 reward. That would be kind of cool if they gave us something like that today as well, in my opinion. So that's kind of what I'm thinking for the content today. Now, is that going to affect the market at all? I mean, just take, taking a look through what's happening to the market right now, I actually traded with SBC Fodder earlier today. I bought all these cards after rewards. These Pjanic and Rakitic, a lot of these 86s were bought around 22,000 coins, sold them all basically instantly at 30,000 coins. Um, and now some of them are actually back down, I think, if you go and look on the market. But um, that's something that honestly, they've been doing the past. That was such an easy read. Um, because they've been doing it for the past couple of weeks is they have been releasing SBCs on Thursday. So Pjanic right now is still like 20, maybe eight, 28,000 coins at the moment. Uh, if we get tradable pack supply today, whether it's that, that is through packs that are in the store or some sort of tradable SBC um, pack supply, then I do think you could see this stuff drop down a little bit more. 
But honestly, I would get interested in possibly looking at some of this fodder again. I know it's up a lot because of these SBCs that we had today. And the best time to buy this stuff would have been last night when I mentioned after rewards uh, would have happened. But if we get more high rated SBCs, some of like the 88 and the 89 rated cards, I still think some of those are kind of low enough where it's interesting to me. Uh, you know, kind of looking at somebody like an 87 rated uh, Ikone, I think if I'm looking at flipping right now, Ikone 87 rated the future stars card flipping says it's like 27,000 coins. You know, I mean, he was, he, he was 45,000 coins before he got put back into packs. And some of these 87s and 88s and 89s were a bit higher, um, this week anyway. So if we got the thing that I'm still thinking about is kind of what I was mentioning yesterday with that 89.5 rare, rare players pack. If that SBC does come out, it's probably going to require an 87 rated squad and you're going to see a lot of that high rated fodder. It's going to boom up, even though it's already crazy high. I do think you're going to see a lot of the stuff bounce up for a short time period. If that SBC were to come out, um, even some of your like 90 91s, I wouldn't go like crazy with this stuff, like say that it's a super duper good investment, but I will give you one quick tip. Since these special cards are in packs, it almost seems like, and that's why I bought Rakitic and Pianic today, the, car, the special cards that are in packs, they have a, like a more common drop rate than some of the rare golds and some of the UCL items. So if you're investing in some cards right now, I would look to get, especially on bid is what I would do this. If you're going to put some fodder in the club, I would go on bid on the gold or uh, like Conte, Koulibaly, Griezmann, you know, see if you can get them around the under 40,000 coin range on some of those. Or if it's like 90 rated, like Ter Stegen or Modric, even Modric is like great for links. If there's an 87 rated squad, this guy would be, you know, used a decent amount. He was 78,000 coins, 77,000 coins. He doesn't have any special cards that really go into packs. Team of the year, not maybe his inform was in packs at some point. Um, but, you know, 78,000 coins down to 49. So, if we saw an SBC that required an 87 or 88 rated squad, you know, this guy isn't even up since KDB went out uh, or, or came out. Um, so that's may maybe I will look at some of the fodder as a possible, if you're on the game at 6 p.m. UK and you're trying to make some coins, that could be a way you could do that because it's probably going to continue to jump around uh, a little bit on the market. And again, I want to talk about this KDB SBC really fast at the end of the video because a lot of you guys mentioned in the comments yesterday that you were upset right that i mentioned that i did not think this sbc might be coming so you went and spent your fodder on uh icon moments upgrades or doing other sbcs and now it's here and you're upset and you're saying that you don't want to watch me anymore or listen to me uh because i was wrong in this instance you know what there's times where I'm, this is not the only time i've ever been wrong right like this the way that this game is formatted the way this game is we don't know everything right it's it's EA knows everything. They put it out. We can only contemplate, guesstimate, and make our best educated guess on what is going to happen for content most of the time. Of course, there are leaks and stuff like that that change things, but um, I'm not an all-knowing content creator knowing the content is going to come out. So there's going to be times, uh, and not a, not a lot of them, but there are going to be times where I am incorrect. I'm going to not read the market correctly, or EA is going to do something that I am not expecting to change whatever happened, right? So, uh, you know, it happened, right? The KDB SBC came out. And if you did spend your, your fodder on Icon Moments Upgrade, yeah, maybe you're a bit disappointed. But you know what? Think of it this way. If you have any coins left, if you have any stuff left in your club, you can still trade. And the, the, the menu grind right now, it is so possible to go from almost nothing. It would take some time and some effort. But you can trade right now with SBC fodder. You can bid. Bids are crazy, right? You hop on bids. You can build up your coins. You can open upgrade packs you will be able to craft this KDB SBC in, you know, two weeks that you have to do it. So yeah, you know what? I was not expecting this SBC after it was delayed for a long time, but it, it did come out and it is here. So it is also August. So, I mean, there's like what, three, four, maybe five weeks left of this game. Just, it's going to be fine, right? There's going to be another KDB probably in FIFA 21 that you'll want to get to and you can get him then. And, you know, just, just craft the card, right? It, it's going to be Okay, right? I guess that's the one thing, especially as we head into FIFA 21, that a lot of people expect uh, people like me that talk about the market and talk about trading and, and giving advice and giving tips and analyzing things. They expect you to be perfect right all the time. That's not going to happen because 
uh, of the game is constantly changing every single day. We are, you know, price ranges change, the content changes, the promos change, um, the the pack weight is the D DDA pack weight changes, right? Like we, that's basically proven that the pack weight manipulate is manipulated and changes. One week with rewards, you'll see a ton of SBC supply on the market. Some of these uh, cards will be supplied. The drop rate will be very high, and the next week, it'll be like there's nothing, right? And these pr cards prices won't really move as much. So all I'm saying is. Especially when I talk about FIFA 21 stuff in the future, you're going to have to stay on your toes and there's going to be times where stuff happens where, to make you lose coins. It happens most of the time earlier in the year, but especially it still kind of hurts now, right? Because you want to get that card in your club. But I guess the general thing that I'm saying is take it with a grain of salt, all right? Always stay on your toes and we're not ultimately in control. EA is in control. They control the game. They control the market. They can do whatever they want. So sometimes... We aren't able to get a proper read on that. And sometimes thing, things happen that we don't expect. And you just kind of have to bounce back from it. Maintain a positive attitude. Bounce back. And you'll be fine. All right, boys. It's also just a video game. It's just a game. All right. Some take some solace in that. So I just want to say that today after some comments I saw yesterday. It's all good though, right? It is all good. It's August. We're almost done with this game. Uh, I'm going to be doing a video soon. Speaking of me sitting in front of my squad here. I'm going to be doing a video soon about end game clubs and end game teams of FIFA 21. So you'll see a tweet from me soon. Get my Twitter link. Follow that down below in the description. Flex your team on me. Flex your club, your untradeable pack pulls on me. At some point, we're going to be doing something like that. So I'm making this video too long anyways for an August video. But if you enjoyed it, smash a thumbs up on it. Hopefully we get some cool content today in preseason. I'm expecting a pack, probably an SBC. Nothing amazing. We'll see though. All right, boys. Again, like if you enjoyed it. Comment down below if you have any questions. Subscribe to the channel for new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.